break on that beat going crazy Hey guys, Chris here from Angler Unit with another deep dive. And we are looking at all the colors of the Megabass SV3 spinnerbait. Now, full disclosure, uh, I have fished a lot with the Megabass V9 spinnerbait. Um, this SV3 came out a couple years ago and Yes, I fished with it and I'm familiar with it and I hate to say I've only caught one dink on it so far, but that is not an indictment of this spinnerbait. That's an indictment on me not having as much time to go out and really put in a ton of time on every bait. So this video really is here to show you guys what these really look like up close at the end, I'll compare it to the V9 for you and uh, give you some scale references for it. And uh, yeah, so let's dig in. Let's just look at the colors. If you guys are going to buy this, you want to know how big is this spinnerbait and what's the deal with it? Like, what's it look like? There are people out there that have spoken at length about the spinnerbait. And, um, you know, there's videos out there to find out uh, exactly how it fishes compared to some other ones. Here today, we are just seeing what you're getting when you go to order one of these. So, first up is Ayu. Typically, Ayu is a uh, color that I have a lot of faith in. Primarily because that's what a lot of the bait fish where I live look like. Um, now, this Ayu is kind of flashy and it's got some chartreuse in it. Um, one thing that I love about it, uh, now the SV3, this has a three and a half and a two and a half size blade. Uh, I love gold and silver on a spinner bait. Uh, I like the manufacturer taking the decision away from me between silver and gold. To me, I'm like, just give me one of each and then I don't have to give that a thought. So yeah. Love the gold and silver. Um, the IU head on this is awesome. It's gold. It's like a dark green pumpkin on the top with that little chartreuse hit on the side. Um, we have a, what I would call almost like a clear watermelon tiger stripe on the back. And it has micro... Uh, copper micro. I mean, maybe you can see it glisten here and there. Okay, so that tiny, tiny, tiny copper is glistening in that ghost green watermelon gray. You know, it's it's not quite gray and it's not quite green. Uh, tiger striped silicone, and then it has like the smallest flake humanly possible in a um, copper color, okay? So that's the top layer of the skirt. The mid layer has what I would almost call like a, uh, like a gizzard shad pearl with that color shifts like that mint gizzard green. So it's pearl, but the color shift is uh, that minty green, so it's like a pro green. It's a pinky pearl that shifts to green. And then in typical mega bass fashion, uh, a smart move that they make is the stomachs on a lot of their skirted baits have um, like a ghost clear silicone strand that has micro silver flakes in it. Okay, so you get just in the, the normal skirt, you get one, two, three layers. You have this ghost gray uh, tiger pattern with the little bit of the copper in it. You have the side, which is the like a pro green uh, shimmer. And then the stomach, which is like a ghost clear with micro silver in it. So you get three skirt colors and then 
they added these extra um, ribbon skirts so that you can forego a trailer. Um, and they do include a trailer keeper on the SV3 as opposed to no trailer keeper on the V9. It also has a shorter shanked hook with uh, some kind of nano coating, which makes me think it's a, a gammy hook. Um, so of the four um, trailer strands, two are chartreuse, and they have the smallest amount of flake you've ever seen in something in your life running through them and then they have two watermelon strands with you know micro emerald that maybe shifts a little blue uh, flake in them so yeah that's the sv3 in the iu color so hope that helps there you see it now and uh if you're going to order it you kind of know all the the gritty details on it next up we have black blue this one's pretty rad because of the, uh, you know, the charcoal metallic blades. And then we have a black head that shifts blue flake, blue sparkle with the red mega bass eyes, black chin. And the skirt is a blue tiger pattern on top. And then in the middle, and on the belly, we just have black with uh, green and blue micro flakes in it. Okay, so this one's just two colors in the silicone skirt. The, the blue tiger stripe up top and then just black silicone with micro blue and green flakes in it. And then it has these four of these trailer strands like the other sv3s and it's kind of a a ghost smoke with micro blue flakes in it okay pretty straightforward really rad spinner bait you know um i have not thrown this color or owned it there's only two here that i've used uh a lot and uh, one of those was the IU, but you know what? I wanted to have all of them, and this one's pretty rad. I like that one. I could see using it. This is another one I've had in the past. This is Gill. So, again, this one has the smoke blades. Um, it has a little bit more of a bluegill head than its uh, V9 uh, bluegill cousin. Uh, it's still kind of that green pumpkin IU gold head with just a little hit of orange on the jawline. And on the back here, we have that smoke colored tiger and it has uh, a purple micro flake in it. And you can see the purple micro flake in that. And then we have on the belly, what I would call a true green pumpkin. And I'm not, you know, maybe it's got micro flakes in it. I'm not seeing too many. It could just be a dusting that fell out of something else. I would say it's pretty much a clean uh, green pumpkin on the bottom. So the top, you've got a uh, ghost color with purple micro flakes in it and then the bottom's green pumpkin and then your four um, trailer strands are the top two are legit green pumpkin with blue and green micro flakes in it okay i think you guys can see that in there it just comes out here and there when it, the light hits it right and then you have two watermelon with green flake in them. So you've got a total of, you know, four of those trailer strands, dark green pumpkin, and two are watermelon. So, yeah, that's a rad color. I like that 
All right. Next up, we have Hasu. So this one is very shaddy. This could pass for maybe an American shad or um, a herring. You have the back to the silver, you know, straight up silver blades, the blue head, the orange chin. And then we have ghost tiger striped strands on the back. And they are just basically um, like a clear ghost color. And then I think they have a hit. Yep. They got a little hit of the color shifting micro green flake in them. And then there are some smoke strands. So this is one that has three styles on it. There's some smoke strands with blue flake in them. And, oh, there's four strands in this one. Then you have the pro blue strands that are, that color shift pink blue. So they're very pearlescent. And then again, in traditional mega bass style, which they always get right. You have the ghost strands on the belly with micro silver that looks like every fish that swims in water. And that's huge, and I love that about these. So yeah, this has got four strands. It's got the clear strands with the micro silver flake. You've got the pro blue strands that color shift. Um, you know to blue you can see a little bit of that color shift and then you've got the basically gray tiger stripe but they have the color shift green in them and then the some of these charcoal strands with micro blue in them now the the uh four trailer strands of silicone here two are smoke with blue flake and two are clear with micro green flake that color shifts. All right. So very shaddy. Okay. Super shaddy. This is a color I've never used. Again, I've, my time's been with the uh, V9, not the SV3, but um, I'll get into uh, some of the differences I've noticed right out of the gate. Uh, at the end of this video. So there you go. One more good look at Hasu. All right, then we're moving on to the next one, which is Hot Tiger. So Hot Tiger. What do we have? Well, makes sense to have gold uh, blades on Hot Tiger. We have... Um, green tiger striped strands and you already know they're going to have micro green flake in them we have chartreuse strands solid with you know no flake in them then down towards the belly a lot of chartreuse in here and uh, down towards the belly, we have clear orange strands with orange and green glitter. So, you know, I mean, right out of the gate, look at that head. You know, a great fire tiger head. This is what you look for in fire tiger is the black, the green, into the fluorescent green, into the yellow, into the orange with the red eye. You know, that's spot on. So you've got three strand colors, orange with orange and micro green flake, chartreuse and the uh, tiger striped uh, green, the color shifts green. And then the four extra trailer silicone strands. It looks like two are solid chartreuse and two are a softer chartreuse color with micro gold and silver and maybe a little, even a little bit of a pepper flake in them. Interesting. So yeah, um, you know, I have a lot of luck with, I've never used 
this spinnerbait, by the way. I'm just saying Fire Tiger, for me, a stained watercolor that I do well with in hard baits. Fire Tiger's always been excellent to me in uh, ponds and perchy waters as well. So, you know, if you're a Fire Tiger person, this is a solid Fire Tiger spinnerbait. Next up, this is the third color that I already owned. And um, by the way, I think I said it, but if I didn't mention it, this is called Hot Tiger, okay? I know it's a Fire Tiger pattern, but they call it Hot Tiger. All right, so uh, this is Wagasagi, and this color is 1,900% rad. I mean, this thing is, again, this is everything that swims where I live. This just, this is like a creek chub. This is a shad. This is, you know, with the right trailer on it. This could even be a shiner. Um, there's just so many things that look like this. It's just perfect. Um, silver blades. You've got that awesome... You know, pumpkin head with the hit of pink. I always do really well with, you know, hard baits that have that that pink almost lateral line. Pearl jaw. Okay, and then as far as the silicone strands go on this, you've got like a ghost blue with blue micro flakes in it. You've got a green pumpkin and like the more of the brown green pumpkin that has orange and green micro flake in it. And then you've got a lot of the ghost color with the silver flake in it, micro silver flake. I think you guys can see that. It actually looks like there's some, some, well, yeah. You know what? They went with four different types of strands. So down here on the bottom, you can see the the pro blues rearing its head again. That where it color shifts from like a pearlescent blue through it. So you got four colored silicone strands on this, and then the extra trailer strands. Two are smoke with copper. Okay, and then two are translucent with that like pro green which reminds me of a gizzard shad so this one all around just bait fish through and through I mean, this is just like a, a ghost minnow uh, a creek chub there's just so many things this could pass for um so yeah next up white chartreuse so you know this has to placate the spinnerbait crowd the traditional spinnerbait crowd i mean this is what a lot of people want when the water's murky and this is you know a nice touch here that they have the gold and the silver kind of covers all your bases the head's pretty rad very shaddy very fishy it's got that awesome sliver hit just on the top of the head the chartreuse just the sliver of it i love little attentions to detail like that and a little hit of orange on the bottom jaw let's see what kind of silicone we're looking at here so this one has chartreuse and it looks like maybe is it solid or is there some silver in there i think it's solid chartreuse and then solid pearl. And they went solid pearl the whole way through. None of the ghost. And the pearl does have some sporadic silver micro flakes in it. But they really went, they didn't use the ghost on this. I mean, they really wanted to give you that white body uh, presence for probably stained water. And then two of the extra, you know, Trailer strands are chartreuse, and two are, again, that ghost pro green shimmer. So I like that they do that with those uh, extra tails. All right, and then last up, 
we have white python and that one's just got your straight up silver blades and this one has the crackle paint finish i never understood uh, the importance of that to people I, f I don't know what the story behind it is other than you know people like cooking them old hard baits on their dashboard and when they got crackled they felt like they fished better i can't personally i can't buy that but whatever it's a shad head uh it's neat how they just shaded its face and then the eyes black in there it's still really cool looking um Again, this is another one I've never used. So this one has the Pro Red strands in it. So um, some are just white. So you got your white strands with micro silver flake in them. Okay. So some are white with micro silver. Some are that Pro Red strand where it shifts pink. Let's see if they put the clear ones on the belly. No. So they just go between white and the pro red strand so there's this overall pink hue that sort of pops out as it as the um skirt pulsates or flares you will see you know anywhere that that pro red color is hiding the pink's gonna come out all right and then the uh four tabs are all the same color they're all smoke with copper micro micro copper flakes so that again that's white python it's a pretty rad color too see i've only owned three of these up till now um so what we'll do is i will put a trailer on one of these and we'll take a look at it next to uh, a v9 and we'll kind of discuss what some of the differences are um Again, there are people that will have underwater video of them, but I can just tell you, I made this video for you guys to make your color decisions. And I can tell you a little bit about um, the differences from having fished them both, and I can give you some scale ideas. So I'll be right back once I go grab a trailer, all right? All right, so I'm, th so I'm threading on the Hog Farmer Spunk Shad in the four and a half inch. This is the only trailer I use on all of my spinner baits. I use the four and a half inch on all of my finesse spinner baits, and I use the five and a half inch on my full size spinner baits and on my uh, cheddar baits. So you can see how rad that color is. Okay. Very fishy. I mean, to me, if I'm only getting one, it's this. And if I'm getting two, it's that and the IO. And I think those cover pretty much not just all my bait fish, but, you know, for me, that covers everything. And then I would throw in one of the other two dark ones, either the, the gill or the black and blue. Okay, so these are the three that I had before today, but this one, after seeing it, is, you know, it's kind of impressive in its own way. So let's just real quick talk about it. Like I said, there are people that go out and um, do underwater videos of how these spinner baits behave. I'm just going to compare the two gill colors, okay, just to give you a scale and a, sort of a breakdown here. So here's the SV3 in the gill. Here is the V9 in the V9 gill color. So what's the difference? All right, well, so you have the V9, which is the version 9 mega bass spinner bait you have the sv3 which i don't know what the s stands for i know it's the version 3 from a while back but they refined it and made like a special edition of it and that's what the s is for so the sv3 is like a, a redo of the version 3 okay so these are medium small spinner baits so what do i mean by that well um 
they're not a full size spinner bait. And then a, a good example of a medium size spinner bait would be the river to sea bling. And this is kind of one of the ones that I use when we're looking at, you know, stained ponds around me. Okay. So the difference is you can see, right? This is considered a true medium. So you can see the SV3, it's just slightly, I mean, you know, slightly smaller, smaller arms, smaller blades, uh, smaller hook. Okay, it's a little more finessey, but I have better luck with finessey. So, you know, there you go. So here's a medium, all right? These aren't like small tidbit spinner baits. They're just, they're like a medium small. And honestly, I feel like you can get away with a full size and then like an SV3 or a V9. All right, so as far as the SV3 and the V9 go, um, the SV3, I mean, the, the, the thing that's going to hit you right out of the gate is the SV3 has a, a more sophisticated head design. The V9's more of a blade where the SV3's shaped with like a weighted keel bottom, okay? It has the extra tabs so you don't have to use a trailer. But you know what? I fish both of these without a trailer and with a trailer. And I do, tra you know, whatever, whatever mood strikes me. If I can get away without one, I like to get away without one. And if I can use one because I feel like uh, the water's a little stained and I, you know, if I can get away with it, then I'll get away with it. Um, so primary difference. Number one, the hook. The hook in the, the uh, V9 is longer than the hook in the SV3. Okay, so see, it's longer. Sorry. But it's kind of significant. No uh, trailer keeper on the V9, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but it's never really affected me. But, you know, that, that's a deal breaker for some people. A nice trailer keeper on the SV3. And I would say the primary difference, really, what is important to most people, um, a lot of people complain about the V9 because the wire isn't nearly as strong as the SV3. And that's true. And they do get bent. And that's true. The blades on the SV3 are literally, um, unless you hold one, you can't understand that they weigh nothing. They're literally like feathers, like bird feathers. And you're like, you're thinking, oh, they're just really light metal. And I mean like, no, they're like bird feathers. And they have this crease in them, which... So you almost get two flashes out of one twist versus a smooth blade. So very flashy. And this is really the, the main thing. The wire on the SV3 is real responsive. Okay, and strong. On the V9, it is like mush. Okay, so there's a lot more vibration on the V9. And then what else contributes to that is heavier blades that are not really a willow leaf. They're kind of a willow, um, like a willow Indiana hybrid. Um, it's an odd blade, but uh, yeah, so there's a lot more thump in the blade and a lot more thump in the wire and the wire can get bent out of whack real easily. So that might be a deal breaker between the fact that they're more fragile and they don't have a hook keeper, but a longer hook. I don't know. I think they both have a place. So the way I would describe it is with the, uh, with the V9, you always know what your blades are doing. So I tend to just fish this anytime I want to use this size spinner bait, which is 99% of the time, 
I'll go to the V9 if the water is murky and I want to, I need to know that those, when the blades are moving and when they're not moving and if they're fouled. Where I feel like the SV3, in, in my experiences with it, you don't feel what the blades are doing because they're so light and because the wire is stiff. But what you what you are acutely aware of is what the bait's doing. So you feel like you can control and manipulate the bait because you're not getting distracted by all the thump and the vibration. So it's a trade-off. Um, I think they both have their place. If you know what I would recommend to you is don't buy a few of these or don't buy a few of these. Buy like two of these and two of these and fish them side by side in the same weight and see, you know, based on your fishing style, which one works for you. Um, you know, I don't destroy a lot of spinner baits and I don't lose a lot of spinner baits. So uh, the V9, it's not so bad to me, but you know, if you know, if I was fishing down south with bigger fish, I feel like this would just pull out of this head um, a lot easier. You know, when you're catching like one, two, and three pounders, it's not such a big deal. And you're not trying to, you know, boat flip or flip them up on the bank. But, you know, this one feels like m much more of a gamer if you're fishing aggressively. But if you're just, you know someone who's a little more patient and you know if you if you if you can only have one you know even though I fish this way more if I could only have one I think I'm starting to lean this way I'm seeing a lot of the merit in this but if you've got the room for it and you like this style of bait I think having a couple of each is a better choice than just picking one uh, so I hope that helped you guys um, really, again, this video was about seeing the colors up close and making, um, good decisions for yourself. You know, when you're going to buy these, um, on a website, you know, you don't know what's going on, uh, with a lot of the, the color shifting and the skirt. So if that helps you eliminate one that you know won't work in your waters, that just frees up some money for, you know, another bait that you wouldn't have normally been able to afford. So, um, I hope that helps you guys. And again, let's take one more look at that one. That just looks rad. Um, so yeah, I will be fishing both of these, the V9 and the SV3 this weekend. So, uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I hope this helped you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.